trying to tell you that you have incredible, almost telepathic powers to get inside the skin of the people you're dealing with and understand them on a deep level. It's what our ancestors developed hundreds of thousands of years ago, and you're not even beginning to tap into the potential of that incredible empathetic power that you possess. Robert Greene. You probably know me as the author of The 48 Laws of Power, The Art of Seduction, Mastery, The 50th Law, which I wrote with 50 Cent, and my new book, The Laws of Human Nature. I worked in Hollywood for many years and saw all kinds of manipulative people and power situations. I also do a lot of consulting with my readers. They come to me with their problems. So I think over the years I've developed a deep understanding of human behavior and how to help people deal with very painful political and personal relationships. So I find my inspiration a lot from my readers and from the people that I consult with over the years. My name is Harut Krogalian. I'm the broker and the CEO of John Hart Real Estate. I wanted to start a book club here at John Hart because I'm a big believer of accountability. And with a book club, getting together with your peers and discussing, you have to come ready. So reading a chapter every couple of weeks was something that I thought would really help every single one of us here at John Hart Real Estate. I've been a fan of Robert Greene for many, many years now. His latest book, the Laws of Human Nature was something that I really enjoyed reading. I automatically knew that it was something that I needed every single person that I knew, especially our agents, to read. My name is Posh. I am the Director of Content and Hospitality at John Hart Real Estate. Our company CEO, Harut, reached out to me and said, we're doing this book club with our agents here at John Hart, and they were reading the book that Robert Greene most recently wrote, The Laws of Human Nature. And we really wanted to get him to come to an event to speak with us and answer some questions and delve deeper into the book and talk about influencing and about influence. We hosted it at the Lanterman Auditorium in La Cunada, which is a small town here in Southern California. And it was a blast. that we humans have a, a dirty little secret. And the secret isn't about sex or anything like that. The secret is that most of us are experiencing pain. We're in pain. And the source of this pain is other people. Our relationships, our brittle, fragile relationships that, um, that aren't working for us. So what's happening in everyday life, the source of the problem is that we don't feel that desire that hunger to connect to people in everyday life. We find, we find a lot of the people around us kind of boring. What if I could write a book that would spark that desire that you have when you were a child, or that you have when you were in love, or when you were starting a job, or when you traveled to another country? What if I could make you realize that the people you deal with every day in your family, <coughs> when you go shopping, whatever, are just as fascinating as those characters in a movie. They have, all of them have their own secret lives. They have their secret fantasies. They have their dark side. People are incredibly fascinating. Why do people have such a hard time with mastering themselves? For instance, it's very personal, but I nearly died about six and a half months ago. I couldn't disclose to, to not being here today. Here to talk to you. I suffered a stroke. 
But then I realized that this has probably saved my life and probably is a mo major moment of change because as the doctors showed me, I had all sorts of underlying issues. And if I didn't have this stroke, if it wasn't a miracle that I survived, I probably would have died a year from now or gotten some terrible illness. So this worst thing that happened to me is probably the best thing that happened to me if I look at it the right way. First of all, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to hear the birds outside my office in the morning when I meditate. I'm grateful to see my wife in the morning. Okay, but I'm also realized that this is a chance to rewire my body and to get myself back into proper health, etc. So the worst thing that happened to me is in some ways a blessing, and that's sort of how the attitude that I'm trying to inculcate in my readers. Fantastic. Thank you very much. What I learned is that a lot of what I was doing was trying to read other people and what I really needed to do is focus on myself and be more self-aware and also listening. So I learned to really be more self-aware and listen better. It's kind of a therapeutic moment to understand yourself better because that way you can really take that onwards and work with anyone with a lot greater ease. I learned how deep human nature could really truly be. Robert Greene said, Whenever he starts a new book, it's as if he's never going to have a bestseller again. So I applied that to every time you get a new client, you may never have another new client. So always treat them like they're brand new. Dealing with all the different personality types, if we can better understand them, better understand yourself and create a bridge in communications with people, of course it helps. It helps with any kind of career, any kind of relationship. At the end of the day, when you're in real estate, it's relationships. See the person for who they truly are and listen more. And I think that will definitely be very helpful towards my real estate career. Really getting into their desires, not what my desires would be for them, but what their desires are for themselves. Listening to people more and, and deeper and not just waiting so I can respond, but more so just really deeply listening. And that's what I feel like really helped me in real estate. I consider it my job day in, day out to inspire the people that are at this company and more importantly, allow the people that are at this company to inspire everybody else. Every single one of here at John Hart Real Estate have a responsibility, whether it's me to my staff or my agents or my staff to their agents or our agents to our clients. We need to make sure that we truly connect and understand how our client is thinking so we are able to give them a better service. And that is something the laws of human nature guided us through and what it gave us as people the opportunity to understand.